Hello everyone and welcome to West Ham Fan TV and I've just got a bit of breaking news for you. Well, it's not really breaking, everyone probably knows it by now. But Jose Fonte, um, the defender we signed last January, has moved on to the Chinese Super League for £5.5 .5 million. Uh, the team, which I'm going to have to read because I've got no idea how you pronounce it, uh, Dalian Ying Yifeng, Yifeng, Dalian Yifeng. Strange one, this. Um, I look, eight million quid we paid for him a year ago. Uh, didn't start the greatest, but I thought he's been improving. Um, now this is why <laughs> it's a good deal for West Ham in general. He's thirty-four, five and a half million quid. Uh, we've only lost a couple of million quid, but at this time of the season is so shocking, and it's it's becoming ridiculous now look the West Ham squad is so thin um, it's a good deal for the club uh, in terms of business because as I said he's 34 um, he's only played 24 times for us he's been out for a long time with an injury but why do I think he's moved why do I think Jose Fonte has made the move to the Chinese Super League well money is a factor isn't it but We've got to look back at some of these comments that was made about him and, and Robert Snodgrass. I don't think it's a coincidence that um, we're never going to see these two players in a West Ham shirt again. Back in December, after Jose Fonte um, uh, got injured in November, uh, David Sullivan came out and said that... Uh, he, he, he spoke to a Sky reporter and said something like... Um, when, when, when you know, sp speaking about the transfer policy, Slav wanted them, but my kids, um, they they begged me not to sign him. Now, for a, for a chairman of the board, that is a ridiculous thing to say, and it's I don't think it's any coincidence that Jose Fonte has never played a game for us again since then. Uh, I know he's been injured, he's been on the bench a couple of times, but he's never played in a West Ham shirt again. At the time, uh, I remember he was in a Sky Sports studio the day after the comments were made, and he called. Um, he called David Sullivan's comments ignorant. I ignorant is, is probably a polite way of saying he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, to be quite honest with you. It, it, for me, this transfer is strange. We haven't got a chance to bring anyone in. We've got a very spons, uh, thin squad anyway. I think they're looking at the types of Declan Rice, which I, you know, I'm a big advocate of him. Um, see him more game time but would I sell Jose Fonte now? No, Winston Reid hasn't got the greatest of uh, of injury records I'm afraid. Um, you've got Ogbonna who's obvious, he's as well been out injured uh, at times, Collins who's ageing and you've got Rice. Now it's just, I, I think this is just another slap in the face to West Ham fans if I'm honest. Um, if he's going to be allowed to leave, let him go in the summer. You don't need to let him go now. The squ squad is criminally thin. It's another £5.5 .5 million pound to add to the £6 million. Pound. So in, in fact, transfer-wise, even though our squad is so thin, we've made £11.5 million pounds this year, this season in transfers. We've made, in profit, £11.5 million. Pounds. We, with an out of itch, um, Hernandez, Hart and Zabaleta coming in. Uh, and obviously, transfer window-wise... Uh, January transfer window was Hugh Gill and Evra. Uh, we're 11 and a half million quid in profit. Um, why isn't this money getting reinvested back into the squad? Well, it's too late now. Um, you can't reinvest in someone when they're being sold in February. Why wasn't he let go in the summer? Uh, it's a good deal for Jose Fonte, I think, uh, in, the, in the twilight of his career. Uh, he's going to go and play in China for a few years now. Um, big money there competitiveness is not obviously not what it is anywhere in the world I don't think I think it's probably one of the worst leagues got some big players playing there now and they're looking to build uh, but big money for him I don't know what sort of wages he's on I haven't even had a check of that but I would imagine it's big money he's still a Portuguese international of course um, good luck to Jose Fonte um, he wasn't my favourite player when he came in uh, you know he had a bit of a rocky start but he grew on me a little bit Jose he grew on me Quite a lot, actually. Um, I, I honestly think the main reason for this transfer is the comments. I think there's been a big falling out uh, in, in the back room. 
You know, I don't think, as I said, it's don't think it's a coincidence. Robert Snodgrass was already on loan to Aston Villa. I can't ever see him coming back to West Ham. He's never going to be in a West Ham shirt again. And Jose Fonte, uh, obviously, has never played for us again, and he's he's moved on. But um, I think it's ridiculous, and that it just it baffles the mind. You've you've, you've told a defender when we haven't got the you know the best record uh, defensively. Uh, injury wise and we've sold our one of our top goal scorers to a relegation rival I think they're dicing with death here West Ham to be quite honest um, I think we still have enough to get through uh, if there was a position that they if they hold a gun to me and said um, you've got to sell someone it would have probably been someone from the defence but saying that at the moment we just need bodies and, and you know we're well under the the you know the the squad numbers for the season. We was at the beginning of the season, um, and we've seen a few go since then. I think it's criminal to let be, be letting people go. Dicing with death. Let me know what you think. Was it a good move to sell Jose Fonte? Um, who knows? Only time will tell, I guess. But um, thank you very much for watching this video. You've got amusings coming on later on today, so don't forget to uh, to check that out. Subscribe to the channel and um, look out for all that stuff for Liverpool. One thing left to say: Good luck, Jose. Come on, you irons.